Let's take a look at how to install the Ingress training database on a Windows machine. Here we have the zip file and we're just going to extract, open the zip file and extract all of the files from the zip. It'll create a folder called setups and I'm going to put that onto my desktop for now. Let's extract. Here's my desktop folder and I've created a, it's created a subfolder called setups and I'm just going to launch a command prompt from within here uh, which is going to take me into that setups folder as well. Um, the first command I'm going to run is just to type ing start just to make sure ingress is running on this machine. Great. Okay now I'm going to uh, create a database using the command create db and the name of my database training db. Okay, that's created essentially an, an empty database called Training DB. I'm now going to use one of the scripts which are within the setups folder called tables.sql. And by running SQL, Training DB, less than tables.sql, and then pressing return, it will populate my database with some user tables. And there we have them listed at the end. These tables are currently empty, so we're now going to run another script called data.sql which will populate the training DB with some data within those tables. And it's inserted some rows. Finally, to check the rows, well, there's a separate script called checkrows.sql. This is not essential to run, but it's worthwhile running just to make sure that our database has been populated with some data. What we can also do is launch the Ingress visual tool called Visual SQL. If I just go down to my um, desktop here, down to the bottom, and double click, and we can make sure that Ingress is running OK. And by then right clicking on the Ingress Visual Manager icon, we can launch the Ingress S Visual SQL tool. And from in here, we can actually connect to our database that we've just created called Training DB. And we can run a select statement. So, for instance, select asterisk from um, the part table. And if we click on the running man icon, we should be able to see then the data within that table. And that's the end of the demonstration.